Bro, could you imagine? <laughs> he starts farting like. Bro, could you imagine? <laughs> he starts. Good old loop. It's it always loops though up here. Fuck. They've got some very interesting pictures around the house, like very random spots. Yeah. You have a private camera on your phone, I think. No, not my phone. I don't have it either. Yo, guys, can you hear me? I don't know where. Alex, I have to say, oh, actually, no, my email. I don't want to dox myself. I don't know. All right, I gotta show you my room quick. Yours is upstairs, bro. I don't know where So I don't know why I picked this room, but I got that. You go over here, we got our bed, beautiful walls. But yeah, I don't know, I love it. It's just something about this room. It just makes me feel at home. I have no idea what it is though. I think it's a lamp, could be that lamp. As I move towards here, I love the windowsill. I love the wood, like the wood on the wall up here, how it's perfectly matched. I absolutely love something over here. Something over here I love, I don't know. But I picked that room. Instagram. What happened? Phone. No, I'm just I'm talking about my password. I'm not gonna say it though. Wait, what are we doing right now? I'm just talking about my. I have my password the same for everything. Yeah. And I kept getting like my Instagram is getting logged into. My no. Everything. Fuck. How did you get to pick me, Red? Is that you? Is that actually you, Red? Damn. Is there a third? <laughs> is there a third story? Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys. The, the only thing is the connection is really bad and honestly there's nothing on the third story. There's only two rooms. So it's not even worth it. Is it warm there? Yeah, I'm cozy right now. Will loves a nice picture on the wall. You know what I'm saying? My throat is still bored. Help me. Okay, I'm blocking you. Like, nobody has a bored throat. I don't even know what that means. Bored throat. Like, eat. Like, just eat something or drink water. Like, I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, some, like, some, some sexy girl just messaged me saying, my throat's bored. <laughs> you know? <sighs> Very odd. Very odd. Have you seen the movie Society of the Snow on Netflix? What's Society on the Snow? That sounds sick. That's a good movie. Just watch today. True story. No way. I got to see that movie. What is the movie about? Dad? Yeah? What are you on? Netflix? Uh, not, uh, Prey, I think. No, no, Prime. Oh, Prime. Is it on Prime, guys? Yeah, sorry. Is it on Prime? Dad? Yeah? Search up Society of the Snow. Society of the Snow? Yeah, see if it's on there.
Suits is more suitable, that's true, but I want something like insane that's gonna scare me for the rest of my life. Yeah. I wanna be scared. <sighs> yeah. Anything. But they have one here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, society of what? Society of the snow. Saltburn would do that. Wait, what's wrong with Saltburn? Like, is Saltburn weird? Like, what is it? I'm excited. Dad will like suits. No, dad hates any white collar motherfucker. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Dad's all, bl all blue collar, you know? But he's a full truck driver. He will not watch suits. You guys know he will not watch suits. Yeah, yeah. They don't have it. Oh, fuck. Any other guys, any other suggestions? Prime movies? Search up salt burn, dad. Actually, I don't want to watch salt burn with you, actually. I heard it's got some weird scenes. Yeah, we'll watch salt burn together, right, guys? We'll do a little. We'll do that another day. What's another good movie, guys? <laughs> Prime. Reacher. I don't want to watch Reacher, though. Good Will Hunting. No. What is Reacher? A movie or a show? Yes. Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? No, I don't. Dad? Reacher's good. I want to watch The Reacher now. Oh, it's a show. Reacher has episodes. Yeah, so I don't want to watch a show tonight. I'm trying to think. Someone said Dave Chappelle. I love, I love late night comedy. Like, if I'm ever sad, just watch comedy. Like, stand-up comedy. Do you guys like stand-up comedy? Right? Like, cause if you think about it, like it's so awkward. Like they're just going on stage to talk to a bunch of people trying to be funny. So it's actually so intriguing to watch. Like I actually love it. It just, it's so real and like funny. When are you going to see Matt Rife March? My ex is a standard comic. Wait, what's a standard comic? Like just loves comedy. How about Cat Williams? Oh, Cat Williams, I've been watching. Like, I've seen him on social media. But I've never um, watched his comedy. Dad? Yeah? What movie are you watching? I'm not. I'm just on the phone right now. You know what's a good one? What? Um, Eddie Murphy. Oh, really? Dad, Eddie Murphy stand-up. Who are you taking to Matt Rafe? Maybe I haven't actually. I would be honored to go. We should actually go, bro. Let's do it. The only person that would take your spot, bro, is my brother because he might take me to Green Day. But if he decides Ooh. to take Jack to Green Day, then you're my boy. Yeah, Jack's like a huge fan with Green Day. Imagine if he like sat like right in the front row of like Matt Rafe, any like any picks on you. <laughs> Imagine. Oh gosh. He's like, "Are you Whitey?" Oh. He's like, like, "Come up on stage." I'm like, "Okay," and then I take it, and then I end up making everyone laugh harder than him, and then I'm like, "Matt, how about you just take a seat there, bud? In my seat, right? I'll give you some front row seats there, bud. That'd be sick." Oh God. Missy, thank you. That'll be all over the headlines.
Toppers, thank you so much. Almost 700k tops. Oh, wow. If you watch the Eddie Murphy, you have to tell us what you do afterwards. What your thoughts afterwards. All right, Taryn, sounds good. These pillows are so comfy. But I think it's just you. I don't even know if, like, I find Matt Rafe, like, that funny. Like, I don't really know. Like, I'm more like Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle. Like, I love those guys. Um, who yeah. else? Um, who else do I love? Oh, there's some guy that's new. Oh. New. Oh. Brick. Describe him if you can. Oh, I forget. The only reason why I'm pumped to see Matt Rafe, though, is because he's Matt Rafe. It's not even because of his show. It's because it's just Matt Rafe. Yeah. He's got a lot of hype, so I'd like to see him. But um, there's another there's another um, comedian that's right now. He's really good. He's really good. Um, see, I don't know. I'll find him, though. He's on Theo Vaughn's podcast once. Um, they talk about, like, it was, like, the most country podcast. Anyway. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, he's. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. George Carlin, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. That sounds very funny, yeah. It's Shane Gillis, guys. I like Shane Gillis. I like Bill Blur. I used to not like Bill Blur. I was, I was like, kind of scared of him. I'm like, why are you yelling at everyone? Like, he's really <laughs> mean. But I, I get it now, bro. He's just a mean, nice guy. Like he's just a grumpy nice guy. <laughs> Theo Vaughn. He's awesome. Uh, dude, I love him, eh? Same. Oh my gosh. Does he kind of remind me of you in a little bit, bro? A tiny bit or no? Of, of me? Of me or no? You? Yeah. A little bit, eh? It's the uh, sarcasm. Sarcasm. That, like, that, like, that like, y'all do. It's uh, When he acts like he's, like, 100%, like, going to say something, like, very meaningful. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, just, right? It's exactly you. Wait, now I'm talking about me again. Oh. Theo has been used to be on MTV shows. No way. Theo was on MTV? Oh, wow. Yo, I didn't know Theo um, was 45 years old. He, yeah, he does look a bit younger than that. Like, he looks like, I don't know, maybe late 30s. Bro, he looks like 35, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even Theo Vaughn, like, gets sad and stuff. Like, you think about it, everyone gets sad. Exactly. You know? Chanel. Like, we're actually all in this together. You know, every human is. We're all connected in some way. Matt Rafe was on MTV Wild and Out. Oh yeah. Oh. Everyone like talks about Matt Rafe. Um, he has so he probably has so much pressure right now. Like, I actually, just think about. Thank you, Charlotte. Like, I actually, just think about Matt Rafe right now. How much pressure he has. Like, that's insane. And he's, what, mid-20s? Yeah. Like, I seen him on um, a podcast, and you could just tell he's just, like, anxious, but also, like, pushing through it. Mm -hmm. He's also making fast moves, like, going on podcasts right after he's about to get canceled. Like, fast moves. But overall, bro, honestly, bro, I think he's just, you know, I think, I think he's just trying his best to be a beauty, you know, but you know what? Sometimes trying your best doesn't do good enough. That's what I'm learning too, you know, but it's all right. We'll see. We'll see. I remember we seeing Brandy man alone, Olivia Newton did a screen with you. She liked it. Oh, sweet. Melissa, thank you. It's harder in the public eye. The only reason why I have a lot of sympathy for people in the public eye is because I get it. And, like, I've had feelings, guys, where I've wanted to say, like, the most outrageous shit on live because I've been so mad. And then, like, 
but I don't, right? And then, so I just understand why people say things and they don't even mean it. Like you're up there and you feel like the whole world hates you or something, or like people are chirping you, so you start chirping back and then you look like the worst person, but it's like, you know, it's just like hard, bro. It's like, you got so many, like, you got so, like you got all these people saying that they love you and stuff, right? And then you start to think like, who's real and stuff. Like there's so much things that come with it. Lots of responsibilities. But it doesn't matter that it doesn't come, I mean, it doesn't mean it doesn't come with an ass whooping. That means if you wish for a life in the public and stuff and you, you know, you have to be ready to, um, you have to be ready to like, you know, get, you have to be ready to get hate. Like you have to be okay. You can't be like, you know. There's always a sacrifice and many things that you got to do. There's always a sacrifice. Like so many times, like as I get older, I'll be like, oh, like, but realistically, bro, like I've guys like on a real note, like I've always just, this has just always been me. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like as much as sometimes I like, try to like change myself, dude, I love talking on camera. I love the camera. I love making videos. I'm always looking in the mirror. I'm always trying to like model myself. Like that's literally just me. I don't know how you dealt with it. Honestly, so not, I thought it'd be easier at some times, but then I was like, damn, like some days were hard. But I'm being honest, you guys have made it so good because not many people after going on long breaks and stuff would have like these many good people there for me, like showing up to my lives, showing me all positive stuff. So like you guys have made it 10 times easier on like everything I've been through and shit. So I, uh, that makes it 10 times easier, 10 times easier. I hop on, make a, a threads tweet. My girls are here talking to me about everything and look at me. I was lonely, feeling low. Wasn't even gonna go live. I feel great now, so feel good. Thanks guys. But you guys told me tonight that just don't stop feeling good. Like, cause like I self-sabotage myself all the time. So like, I feel like after this, I'll just like go and I'll look at things and I'm like, I gotta get better at this. I gotta get better at this. Like, like I'm this, I'm that. But it's like, nah, bro, I'm gonna go watch a shark eating a whale on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna watch some weird, like just random, I'm gonna have fun, dude. You know what I mean though? Like just enjoy. <laughs> like, cause you watch dumb videos like that and you're like, ah, like I'm wasting my time. Like, you know? A shark eating a whale. <laughs> I just love like how 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 your mind is just phew, and it just like no it comes up with this stuff. <laughs> a shark eating a whale. <laughs> I love it. Like it just comes out of nowhere. That's the first thing. I <laughs> that. Oh man. Oh. It's true though. Yeah, like I know what you mean. Justin told me today, Justin Kuhn. Yeah. He was like, I was telling him, I'm like, I'm ripping on the hill head first as I'm talking to you, like, just trying to joke with him, guys. Mm -hmm. So he's like, holy crap, bro. You are actually like, I want to take your brain and like literally study it. And I was like, I know, bro. I should honestly like calm down more. I'm going to try to balance myself out. Like, I'm too crazy. He's like, nah, bro. Like, keep being you. He's like, be your real self. That, that was cool. I found that cool that he said that, you know? Cause like, bro, I'm always trying to, you're always trying to change yourself and stuff, you know? And dude, you know what I realized about stuff? Like there's like, guys, like I was like, like I love myself, right? And like, it can slip easy. Like you can gain a habit of like hating yourself and then it gets really bad. Like really bad. So like, yo, fake it till you make it guys. Fake it till you make it. All right? We're not all perfect. So fake it till you make it. Have fun. Be happy. Like just be that person, bro. People admire people that are happy. People admire people that are smiling, positive. Like I'm always like, how the heck are you like that? Like, you know, 
Like, so you gotta, you gotta do that. Ivan's positive. Ivan's a positive dude. Thank you. Alright guys, so we're gonna do a competition, me versus Ivan, on who can draw better. Oh damn. Yeah, I'll go first. Not this again. You get to pick change right here. Okay. I get a pick for you. No no, so you put a timer on your phone. Okay. Right when I press start drawing. Mm hmm You click it, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, sounds good. All right, wait. And we'll pick up the thing we do. Whoever gets it quick, quicker wins, Carrie. Yeah. Set, go. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Class, let's Ooh. go, baby. So, 21 seconds. Uh, 19 seconds, just because I did press a late. Okay, Sandra, you got to follow. Congratulations, Sandra. All right. Oh, gosh. All right, wait. Wait. Okay, wait. Oh, God. Oh. No, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to restart it, okay? Yeah. Sorry, guys, one second. Change it until you find your one, and I'll press it. Perfect. All right. Um, uh, all right. This one is something that I could do. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, that meant to be just a dot in the middle. How was that? <laughs> Target, yep. Oh. oh. 19 seconds, bud. <laughs> uh, no, nah, you got 17. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Let's see, Pada. Let's go, Pada. I messed up on that on that dot thing. It... <laughs> Whole A 5K crew, I'm giving a second place follow here. And we'll do a third place follow too. Congratulations, ladies. Oh man, I just can't make the hills tomorrow. Same, bro. The speed will get and just that rush and. Oh man, it's, it's gonna feel so good. I Next. think, mm -hmm. I think we should get going though. Yeah. Yeah, ladies, I think I'm gonna get going. I wanna go upstairs get some food, and then also, I think it's time to like maybe jump in the hot tub in a bit. Oh. You know. That sounds like a plan. And then I, I'm gonna get a good sleep too, bro. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Yo, thank you guys so much for coming in. Love you guys. Um, Amy, thank you. Hopefully, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know how busy tomorrow will be, but I'm sure I'll hop on a live at some point. Um, got those cameos to work on tomorrow. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys. I love you. No, but I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Honestly. Alex says thanks, guys. Thank love you, you guys. supporting my brother. All I gotta say is, for real. And stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of content out coming out soon on the hills and stuff. Bye, guys. Word of the day. Peace.